Hey, there's Lou. Hey, guys. Let me just finish this, Luke. I'll be right with you. folks, Captain Matt here, and we are out in the side yard uh, sifting compost, getting ready for something that we're going to try. I can't tell you it's going to be successful or not, but I believe it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to take a bin this size right here. It's a one ton bag, and we are going to turn that into a worm bed and we're gonna build that bag slowly every week or so we'll put in five ten gallons whatever we need and we'll put 10,000 worms in to start actually I think we'll go 5,000 because they're gonna want to multiply and that will give us some a lot of young in there and some hatching and uh, we will slowly build this bin up but the difference is we're gonna use in building this bin we're gonna do it reverse. We're sifting it before we start building it and we're only using sifted material. So this has all been sifted this morning and this is what we will build the bag with. The remains, and, and this is leaf and, and wood chip compost. And what remained when we sifted is this is the wood chips that were in the compost. This is all the rough stuff. And all this is going to be used. Roger, matter of fact, you can take this one and throw it around that tree. This we're using around trees around the house. We'll do a little landscaping this fall. And uh, so everything gets used. But we started out with a mound here with uh, two full yards of compost. Our goal today, it's going to be 90 degrees. I don't know if we'll hit our goal, but our goal is to fill three of these getting ready for building the worm bed in a system much like this but we're putting our compost in it filling it up right now that's not the worm bed that's the supply bed and we'll have another one empty and we'll just start slowly putting some in put the worms in and uh, we'll watch this thing we're going to do it over the winter and we'll let you know how it goes but I'm really in it's an interesting thing is that in the spring we get really really busy and so if I had a one ton bag and I was ready or, or one of the big bins I was going to empty out and sift it, I, I just don't have the time for that. So we're building this in reverse, sifting first, and then we'll put the worms in, 5,000 worms, and we'll slowly build this up over the winter. When we get it full and we're right at the one ton level, what we'll do is we'll hold off feeding the bin for about two weeks, and then we'll feed the worms some of the stuff they love more than anything, like sweet carrots blended up or put through the juicer, uh, uh, any, any vegetable that's really sweet. And that will bring the worms up and the worms, and we'll do that for about two weeks, and we'll remove 90% of the worms out of this bin, but at that point, this bin is ready for sale. I already have it on a pallet. It's all built. The worms did their work over the winter and it's an interesting reverse uh, method. So we'll let you know how it goes. I'm excited. I'm, I've never done it before. We might have to look at you and apologize for uh, saying what we're saying today, but I don't believe so. I think we're onto something really good. Sift first, put your worms in, slowly build your worm bed and you have a and then remove the worms and we end up with the finished product. We're working today also with the good old uh, Brockwood shifter. And today what we're doing is we're sifting with a quarter inch hole. And that is just for this type of bin. But if we're gonna do breeder bins or when we do breeder bins in uh, the winter, we'll be using this screen here. This is the, this is the worm screen of, of the Brockwood. And here you have your 3 16 or something close to 3 16th, and down here you have your eighth. So here's where the castings come through, here's where the eggs come through. And uh, the castings are put aside, and the eggs then are put into a bin getting ready to hatch. We don't do a lot of specialty breeding of worms, but we know that the cocoons come through here, we see the cocoons, but we put them in another worm bin, and uh, 
uh, probably most, the majority of them hatch because our population just continues to grow. All right, so folks, we uh, just finished this one this morning. This is a, a one ton bag and there's that beautiful, beautiful bedding that has been sifted through the quarter inch on the Brockwood shifter. Love the Brockwood shifter, wonderful tool. Now you say, how do we move these one ton bags around? It's really simple. We picked up at, at uh, a Harbor Freight. I picked this up and uh, it was on sale one day and I bought it. And so I simply take the, um, take the jack, the pallet jack and go outside. I'll pick that one up when it's done. We'll bring it in here. Uh, we can, with a pallet jack, we, as long as you have a good solid floor, uh, you can move the pallet jack and move these around without any problem. And so that's how we do it. All right, folks, so we're really excited about this. It's something we've never done. I can't prove it right now, but I, we will prove it. I'm convinced it's, a, it's just another way to build a worm bin. And when it's done, you have a completed one ton bag filled with worm casting. So, um, you know, doing this, Again, I said in, in the spring, we get real busy and it's hard to get a lot of things done in the spring and we're getting some of it done now. But uh, we're really trying to save labor. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a 72 year old uh, worm farmer. So the, the less work we do, the better. And so we're always trying to figure out ways to do it. This year, I had a few people come by and ask me if I could sell them one ton bags and I, I just didn't have them. So I started thinking, how can I get a one ton bag going? This was our solution. And I think we really hit on something big. Think about it and give us your feedback. Cause you know, we're always, we are really interested in what you guys have to say. Uh, we, we receive so much education from the comments that you guys give back to us. Um, it's wonderful. Okay, so, hey, you know, we're worm people and uh, we're, we've, we've always got to be thinking about what can I, how can I do something a little better? So this was what we came up, I, I thought about this for a long while, but this is the week that we actually put it together. But we've got to continue to think, get out of the box a little bit, um, get out of the worm box a little bit. No, no, stay in the worm box. All right. So folks, don't, don't forget on the bottom, there are links. We're gonna try to, uh, put, we're gonna put a link on the bottom for uh, one ton bags today. And, and folks, don't forget to subscribe to the newsletter. We'll be having that out and up and uh, running really, really soon. And so um, we're gonna go back. Uh, Roger, my friend Roger and I are gonna go back and try to beat the sun today. We're looking at 90 degrees. So we're gonna try to get some of that done. And thanks so much for uh, listening. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for the education you guys are giving to us. And thank you for allowing us to be part of your warm community. Just love this Rockwood shifter, I'll tell you.